Hello everyone. Raho. How are you doing? Mezamuta. Yes, I'm happy tonight to meet once again. Uh, this is the grace of God. Uh, so let me pray before we start reading the Bible. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you. Uh, every day you give us this evening fellowship to share the world. So we thank you because you know what we need. Plus we uh, don't like to listen to your word as uh, many times as possible. We prefer to uh, watch uh, maybe TVs or movies for some people or doing other things. There are things which we like, which we see or we watch or which make us busy apart from the word of God. But once we receive the heart which is interested in your word, this is the grace of God. I'm sure that even now, as we are listening to this word, it's by your grace and compassion. So allow us to uh, receive it as grace and also allow our hearts to flow uh, one another with your heart. Uh, we thank you and we pray everything in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Uh, tonight we are reading the book of Romans. I will only read two verses, verse 18 and verse 28. Uh, Yes, Romans chapter 1, verse 18. Then we jump and read verse 28. Uh, if we are, you are there, we can read from verse 18. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who suppress the truth in unrighteousness. Verse 28, and even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a debased mind to do those things which are not fitting. Verse 29. Yes, we have read on two verses, verse 18 and verse 28. <coughs> Uh, human nature and Jesus' nature are different but must coexist. Uh, but uh, they have to live together. Because uh, without praise, man cannot live. On the other side, without man also, uh, praise cannot live. Uh, what I want to tell you is that there is the process called to photosynthesis. Uh, whereby this process uh, helps trees uh, to release uh, oxygen uh, by using also carbon dioxide. Uh, uh, yes, man uh, during respiration releases uh, carbon dioxide. Uh, 
unaumeka abasora umuka wa carbonic and uh, trees need this carbon dioxide also to release uh, oxygen a uh, kandi mu gihe umuntu umeka gitina cyo kiba gikeno umwuka kugira ngo nacyo kibashe kubona oxygen which means trees need man uh, but on the other hand man needs also the tree a uh, niyo mambo rwanda rumwe giti gikenera umuntu ariko kandi umuntu agakenera giti elio is the nature uh, is different ariko kandi imiterere yabyo byombira tanukanye it same to uh, the nature of man and god nje kimwe na kamera y'umuntu n'Imana actually uh, when we check in the bible we can see that uh, from birth man is evil and wicked ayo uh, sonye mu rebiri usanga ahere kuva umuntu akivuka ni mubi kandi arandwe na what about god akose imana bite the bible says that god is good and we like to say that he is good all the time but what about man none se umuntu bite man is evil umuntu ni mubi but is evil also all the time kandi none ni mubi kugeza ibi byose when you read uh, Psalm chapter 53 ah yuso mi gitabo cyaza muri 133 please let's read one verse tade somuro umwe the book of psalms tabo kya sabori okay let's read the psalms 53 verse 3 first of all aka twanze dusome zaburi ya 53 murongo wa gatatu mbere na mbere verse three says every one of them has turned aside they have together become corrupt there's none who does good no not one ah vira fuga ngo bose basubiye inyuma bose bandejwe hamwe na gukora ibyiza n'umwe yes even 58 was the says the wicked are strange from the womb they go astray as soon as they are born speaking lies ndo mutano munana murongo gato turavuga ngo banyabya batandukanye mm-hmm. n'Imana bare kuvuka kwabo iyo bavutse umwanya bari yo bageze bakabesha yes when you read the bible you can see that man is always evil Dero yeso mye biri ya nubwo bona ko kuko umuntu ari mubi because he is evil and wicked from the womb kandi ni mubi arandi ehere kuvuka kwe so from birth uh, we people are different from god naturally rero ehere mu ntangiriro twese turabantu bavuka batandukanye n'Imana there's one story i had uh, it's originated from africa ari uh, muri numvise komoka muri africa one day uh, one uh, hunter went to hunt mise ko ari giye kimwe muhigi yagiye guhiga and arriving the uh, in the forest in the bush uh, he found one uh, little leopard ageze uh, mu ishamba yaje kubona e ingwe ikiri cyana gitoya so this baby leopard was taken by him at home Ero yaje kufata cha cha na chingo kijana mu rugo. Dichigat home the kids uh, his kids liked it so much. Erageze mu rugo abana baragikunze cyane. They said that this is a cat. Avuga bati iyi ni njangwe. It is so cute. Ni ni nziza. Let us raise it up and uh, give it uh, give it uh, like porridge and milk avuga rekati yorero ebundi tuyihe amata tujye tuyihe gikoma so they insisted and they started to raise it up ah koniko bashikamye batangiye kuyorora so as they were raising this leopard yarugo bari boro iyo ngwe then came and it grew up ah je cyarageze irakura so one day the chief of the village was passing by aje kimere ari umuyobozi w'umudugudu yabanyuzeho olwasadan he saw a big leopard uh, uh, just uh, playing with the kids ah atungwe no kubona ingwe nini cyane iri mikina nabana and he rushed in his house and brought a spear ah niko kugenda ajya mu rugo azana icumu when he was about to kill this uh, leopard the kids pleaded with him 
from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who suppress the truth in unrighteousness. Umujinya w'Imana ushurwa fa mu ijuru ubyukirijwe ubugome no gukiranirwa by'abantu byose bashikamiza ukuri gukiranirwa kwabo. What does this mean? Ese bivuze iki? Remember Apostle Paul first of all said I'm not ashamed of the gospel. Nibuka kugiye kimwe n'umwa Paul yavuze ngo sinterwe so ni n'ubutuma bwiza. Because the gospel is the power of God. Nuko ubutuma bwiza ni imbaraga y'Imana. When we read verse 16 says Murongo wa 16 gatandatu aravuga. Even verse 17 says Murongo wa 17 nakarene bavuga. A person can become just through the gospel. Umuntu ashobora kuba umukiranutsi binyuze mu butumwa bwiza. And the just shall only live by faith. Kandi ngukiranuka azabashwa no kwizera. But then verse 18 says, Murongo wa 18 akavuga ngo Wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all and God. Ngo umujinya w'Imana ushobora kuva mu ijuru byukirwe n'ubugome. Why? Very true. Yes, there is ungodliness and unrighteousness of men. Arubugome ari no gukiranirwa by'umuntu. But this is not a problem. Akukise kibazo. But the problem is that these people they suppress the truth in unrighteousness. Ah, oh boy, kibazo no kwa bantu bashikamiza ukuri ku gukiranirwa kwabo. As I told you. ukanababwiye ishobora ko ahari yagaragara igero naka kwa rinziza ariko yibonya amaherwe nta kindi akuruse byo kwica abana bose kwako kamere yayo ni kamere yingwe so even people it's the same nabantu nabo nuko yari weak turabantu babi from the womb we are strange from god turabantu batandukana n'Imana ure kuvuka kwa cyo when you read verse 28 usomye mu rongo wa 28 and even as they did not like to tell God in their knowledge God gave them over to a debased mind to do those things which are not fitting kandi babanze kumenya Imana n'icyo cyatumye Imana bareka bagira imitima yabaye kahebe bakora bidakwiriye iya the people cannot love god abantu batakunda imana we don't like god in our nature ah god dukunda imana rwose muri kamera yacu this is our truth ye niyo shisho yacu but many people they confuse uh, their nature ariko usanga abantu bagirujije kubijyanye na kamera yayo however they have to know that god has never told us to change ourselves or to change our nature ariko kandi imana nigeze tubwira guhindura kamera yacu instead god told us to release eh, to release it and deny ourselves ahubwo imana ishaka ko tu uh, tuyambura tukiyambura uh, because once you release your nature Kubera ko yo yirekuye. Once you deny yourself. Yo yanze. At that moment you can see how God works for you. Wera ubwo kuzabona uburyo cy'Imana izagukorera. Yes, uh, when we uh, started I show I told you that trees need man. Ah, dutanya nabwiye ko igiti gikenera umuntu. But man also needs trees. Kandi umuntu no gakenera igiti. Actually they must uh, coexist in order for them to live alero bigomba guhuza kugira ngo bashe kubaho because uh, without oxygen man cannot live akumuna uh, tabonye umwuka wa oxygen ni abaho but uh, without carbon dioxide also trees cannot survive or make energy kandi nanone igiti kitabonye gas carbonique na ngo cyabone cyabone imbaraga it's like uh, electricity bice kimwe namashanyarasi you know when we are when people are 
installing electricity in a certain house. They need electrical wires. But how are electrical wires made? Uh, actually, they take uh, two uh, two things which are different by nature. One is the uh, conductor of electricity. In other one is an conductor uh, material. So because they know that uh, without uh, this conductor, even conductor material can only kill people. Which means both of them are needed in order to use electricity. So God also wants to save wicked people. God wants men so that men can receive his love. God is love, but man has no love at all to love that. But that is not a problem. Because once man receives the love of God, he becomes happy Arishima. and God is also happy because he found somebody to give his love. Actually this is the purpose of salvation. Because God knows that uh, man is different naturally from God. And uh, God was not actually disappointed uh, because he knew that this is good. It was good in which way? Because God found where to pour his love. So when people are struggling just to change their nature, they don't meet the love of God. But once they realize that they are natural evil, once they recognize that they cannot keep the love of God, because the love of God is good, the love of God is holy, but they are evil and unrighteous people. So to those people, God asks them not to suppress the truth using their unrighteousness. That is repentance. Because once we realize that we are unrighteous, once we realize that we are wicked, once we realize that we don't love God, we cannot serve God. That is when we can receive God in our hearts. That's when we surrender before God. And from the non God starts to work for us. So recently I lost my grandma. Uh, before my grandma uh, passed away, I had a talk with her. Uh, actually, one day I asked her. Are you righteous as Jesus and you are ready to stand before him? Uh, she told me, yes, I'm righteous. But I'm not as far as Jesus. I asked her again, where do you think that you are righteous? At that level which is different from Jesus. 
So she said, you see, I don't come to sin. I told her, yes, you cannot come to sin now. Because you are too old. Actually, uh, she passed away at 109 years old. So, a person over 100 years, actually, uh, his or her body is already dead. There are some sins uh, he or she cannot commit. Anyway, so I told her, uh, the way you think is wrong. Because that righteousness cannot make you stand before Jesus' body. I read how one verse. Uh, if you are reading the book of Colossians chapter one. Mm -hmm. Colossians chapter one verse twenty two. Please open the book of Colossians chapter one. You can read verse. 21 and 22. How does the Bible say? The Bible says, uh, And you who once were unnated and enemies in your mind by wicked works, yet now has reconciled in the body of his flesh through death to present you holy. And blameless and above reproach in his sight. Anamwe bari baratandukanejwe n'Imana kera mu kamwara abanzi ba mu mitima yanyu no kugwimirimo mibi none iyo ngishije namwe urupfu rw'umubiriwe ngo abashyira imbere yayo murabera n'abaziranenge mutagawa. Yes, I told you that God has never told us to change our nature. By nature we are wicked. By nature we are enemies to God. In our mind, the Bible said uh, we are enemy uh, by wicked works. So there's nothing we can do uh, to present before God. This is what I told my grandmother. Yes, never think that you are righteous because you don't come to sin. Even if you, uh, you gave offering and tithe when you were uh, able to go to the church, that cannot make you stand before God. Actually, she had stopped going to church because she cannot move. But before she used to go there and give offering and give tithe and try to uh, use her weak body to serve God. But I told her, still you are enemy, enemy natural. So you have to believe in the work of God. Because the Bible said, uh, yet now he has reconciled. In the body of his flesh through death. Why did God uh, do that? Mm -hmm. The Bible says he wanted to present you holy and blameless and above reproach in his sight. Everyone, we are blameless before God. We are righteous before God. We are as whole as Jesus, not because of our works. Not because we changed our nature. 
Kubera ko tutahinduye kamera zacu. But because of the work of God. Ahubwo kubwe imirimo y'Imana. Because of the death of Jesus. Kuguru kufurwa Yesu. Jesus died for our sins. Yesu afiri bya bya. He took away all of our sins by his death. There are so many people they still try to change their nature. So uh, they deny the work of God. Everyone you have to acknowledge your true figure. Even though you are different from God by nature. Even though by nature you are an enemy to God. It's okay. It is not a problem. Because God, there is another process He used to make you alive. So you have to accept your nature. Never try to be like a leopard which never tested meat. Because even if you uh, don't test meat, once you get chance, you behave like a leopard because that is your nature. Yes, you may not have come to the daughter. You may not have uh, drunk. You may not uh, uh, have done any uh, evil action physically. But uh, you know your heart. Ariko no uzu mutima wawe. No that you have your thoughts. Ah uh, uzikufite bitekerezo bibi. That heart which produces evil thoughts. Ah uh, mutima rero tere bitekerezo bibi. Zaniva heart. Mm. Mutima mubi. Therefore once you get chance you can behave like you. Dedo amayi babonetse no bundi wamera nka yango. Therefore you need to forsake yourself. Umamba kene kwiyanga. Throw your heart. Uh, your nature uh, just lose it uh, and by denying yourself you will find that God reconciled uh, you and him through the blood of Jesus from then on God will work through your life I hope that you acknowledge this. And live happily. Never try to change your nature. And just release it. And God will give you another way to live. Let's pray. And God will thank you. Dato mi je tura gushimye. Tura abantu babi. Certain disciples that we are uh, serving God, we love the church, we love God. Stana badushuka ngo dukorera imana, dukunda imana kandi dukunda toro. But father, naturally we are so Ariko kuba kamera yacu tura abantu babi. That's why there's nothing you can do to please you. Apart from losing our nature and denying ourselves. Because once we do that, it's called repentance. And repentance is the preparatory stage of having faith. And faith makes people live. And through faith we receive the righteousness of Jesus. And also we can live by that faith. And you bless all viewers. You put down their thoughts. You accept your word as it is. We thank you and we pray everything in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. See you next time.